All right, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Call I am La Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Hakodash. I want to give our glory, honor, and infinite praises unto our power, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Hakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone that teach and rule well. Peace, love, salutation to the hopeful elect, starting with 144,000, the rest of the one third. <clears throat> All right. I'm the brother Hob Mayan from the Great Millstone, Columbus, Georgia Church. And now, but I desire this to be an edifying lesson this morning. Something quick through the spirit as I was um, pondering about it. How um, Esau Edom, his rulership is about to get stripped from him, man. And um, two thirds of these so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians, Seminole Indians have partaken into wickedness and fell in love with it. You know, you believe the, the philosophies that. Um, this Idumian pushes, you know, done blinded the people, man, rocked them back to sleep. That's why our people in a docile state of mind. But this is, uh, ultimately, it's the Lord. But this is uh, a, a Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 10, verse 1. A wise judge will instruct his people. A wise judge will instruct his people. And the government of a prudent man is well ordered. But do you see that going on in righteousness right now? No, because the world is bamboozled, man. Only the hopeful elect, you know, the 144,000, <clears> the one third, the greater number of So only, only the hopeful elect is is, is um, coming back. Only the hopeful elect is considering, meditating, contrite, you know, believing the things that's pleasing to the Lord, man. Doing the things to the best of their ability, man. You know, holding on, holding fast to what they have, which is his truth, man. Believing on the names of Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. It says, as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner of man the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein, man. And that's why you see what you see, man. Jake don't want to come back and repent and be converted and hear the truth. They walk and scoff and mock and, you know, do all type of things. Probably, you know, they know they got, you know, they got thoughts in their head. You know, um, probably, you know, saying vile th things about the men of the Lord in their heads. When they watch these lessons come, come past the chief place of concourse, when they see brothers on the streets, you know. Because why, man? This is their queendom also, man. Two thirds, which is more than the one third, man. They love this place, man. They love this place, man. Two-thirds love this place. But guess what? Your daddy Esau is about to get taken out of power, man. And you're going with him. You know, you're going to be brought back through the loins of the elect in the kingdom. But you ain't going to make it on this side, man. And that's going to be terrible judgment, terrible fear. You know? Verse 3, Sirach 10 and 3. An unwise king destroyeth his people. And what you see going on, man, Esau pushes everything that's contrary to the Lord, man. Everything that's contrary to Yahweh Bashem Shah, that's what he pushes, man. That's what he pushes. You can do this. You can do that. Just like when the serpent beguiled Eve, man. It seemed, it, it seemed good to you. But guess what? That's the spirit. Let's grab this through the spirit. Uh... What's that? Proverbs 14 and 12, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. There is a way which seemeth right unto a man, man, woman, child, but the end thereof are the ways of death. Whoo. See? It's, it's, you're going to see in the days to come, man. You know, when the Lord brings so much of Mashapatim judgments. You're going to see that a prophet have been among you the whole time. You're going to know. You're going to know that a prophet have been among you the whole time telling you what you ought to be doing. What you're supposed to be doing. See, right now it seems like it's our fun and game. But if you consider it, you know it ain't no game. You know? Because you understand the seriousness, man. You see how people bugged out, man. I'm on my way to work right now, man. Young Jay. And it's going to be hopeful for the hopeful elect, man. But for the majority of the, the Israelites, two-thirds, man, they gone. They gone, man. They gone. 
That's why the scriptures say there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof are the ways of death, man. Let's jump back in Sirach. <clears throat> um, Ecclesiastes 10 and 3 again. An unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. And there's so many ways he destroyed the people, man. You know, first and foremost, destroyed them mentally, spiritually, by giving us, giving Jake Cesare Bogier. You know, which is idolatry, man. We got you out of worshiping. You know, Santa Maria doing these things, doing these things. You know, the, the, the scriptures say the earth is given into the hand of the wicked, man. You know, and our people don't want to come back and fear you how about Sham you how shy, man. I'm telling you it's okay to eat swine, eat pork. And our people bamboozle with that. They really think it's okay to eat pork chops, to eat a pork sausage, to eat pork ribs. No, that's an unclean beast. Let's grab that, you know, for edification's sake. Mm. Let's grab that. The swine. Let's see. Bear with me. I know it's up here in... Bear with me real quick. Uh, yep. This is Leviticus, and this is in the law, man. Leviticus chapter 11. And I'm going to start at 7. It says, and the swine. Look at the NLT version. It said the pig. The pig. And the swine, though he divide the hoof and be cloven-footed, Yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. He is unclean. But guess what? Uh, Sirach 10 and 3. An unwise king destroyeth his people, man. So if Esau pushing that agenda, that narrative, Jake going to go with that narrative and push it on Jake. Which is off, man. That's off. That's off, man. That's not right, man. You know, that's that's not right at all, man. That's not how you supposed to be, man. This is um but to balance out <clears throat> it says um Sirach ten and four. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, and in due time he will set over it one that is profitable. So what we ought to be doing, waiting, cleaning ourselves up, growing, examining ourselves, you know. Doing all we can, man. Doing all we can. Because, um, and it just, uh, 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 uh it was just through the spirit, man. Revelation chapter 12, verse 12. This says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe, meaning death, destruction, great misery, trouble, distress, wars. It says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time, man. So this same unwise king, man, he's finna come down with great wrath, man. You know? So what you ought to be doing, man? Getting your house in order, which you are that house. You know? Setting your affection on things above, man. Coming back fearing the Lord. Coming back fearing the Lord, man. Holding on to what you have, which is this truth. Because right now, the Lord ain't playing. He never was playing. But you can see it if you in the spirit, you know. <clears throat> the Lord ain't playing. He's not a respect to the persons, you know. So there was just some quick through the spirit, man. Abarad desire was edifying to someone out there. You know, um, I ended off with uh Second Edges chapter six and verse I started at seven. Then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or what shall or when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? And he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, 
hand, Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows. Now you go back into Genesis 25 and tell you that there was two nations in there struggling, man. You know? The Lord, the Lord is like that, man. The Lord is like that, man. He he chooses who he chooses. It says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows, man. And that time is soon to come. Sirach 10 and 4 said, in due time, he will set one over it that is profitable, man. In due time. That time is coming. So we got to get our house in order. Do what we got to do. Take heed to the spirit. Carefully consider. Do all the things you got to do. You know, to please your high about Shemar Shah, man, to the best of your ability. You know? So Abarat Azad, it was an edifying lesson. Through the spirit and power, how about Shemar Shah? We'd like to close out by giving our glory and honor and infinite praises unto Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rahah Kodash. Double honors to my apostles at Great Millstone that teach and rule well. 